Hello there, and welcome into this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a Seta Corsa set up for low fuel motorsports. A Seta Corsa, developed by Kunos, has been around for nearly a decade, popularized majority, I would say, by its mods and modding community. Probably Kunos didn't expect how popular this would still be to the present day. It was one of the first sims that really piqued my interest in PC sim racing. I would spend a long time on this, R Factor 2, before I transitioned to iRacing. But what's caught my interest recently? is the access of low fuel motorsports for a set of Corsa. Now, low fuel motorsports, let me explain. This is taking the iRacing model, making it free, built by the sim racing community for the sim racing community to work with other platforms. Currently it works with a set of Corsa Competizione, which has popularized the platform for sure. R Factor 2 is generally quite a new addition. A set of Corsa is a very new addition and WRC also a new addition. Now I've been trying this out recently and I thought I'd run through some settings just to make sure you can get set up and working on this because um, I think it's brilliant. Now how popular it will be in the future I have no idea. The community is buzzing around at the moment and there's lots of active races. So you have access at the moment in Alpha, five hourly races. These run back to back to each other so you can jump in a race pretty much frequently. There's lots of splits. Your rating is what what we call an elo you have a safety rating that's associated to how um you know well you behave on track and then also your licenses which i imagine much like a, a acc down the line will dictate what kind of events you can participate in but for now for the alpha it's all rookie based and you just get broken up into splits so let's go, go get going on how you get set up obviously once we have ac a set of course installed on from steam or wherever you've installed it we need a few things to get going. First, content manager. Now, I would be using this. I was using this before I uh, needed low fuel motorsports, but low fuel motorsports requires this because there's a few mods you need to install. So I'll put all links in the description for everything I'm going to list here. But you can get it. If, you, if we click on here the F3 championship and scroll down to the requirements, you can see we need the content manager, real penalty, soul, the car, and the track and what DLC it's from. If we go to content manager, um, download directly now there is um a donate version but the free version is absolutely fine to use so if we just download that i think i've already downloaded it but we'll do that anyway csp is custom shader patch we're going to need this as well it recommends 1.79 but i've been using 2.1 just fine so i've already got that downloaded real penalty this is to it's a server end facility for handing out yellow flags, black flags, safety cars, managing your cuts and off tracks, finishing the game to run in an online competitive manner. So you need this installed, otherwise um, you won't be able to join the servers. And finally, Sol, which is the weather app, weather effects, makes the game look really good. So we get that downloaded as well. I think you need a race department account, but it's free. So get that downloaded. Once you've got everything downloaded, let's head on over. Content Manager, let's get that. So this is the first thing we downloaded, Content Manager. You can just extract this. Once extracted, it's pretty much, pretty self-explanatory, you just run it. Now on first run, you're gonna be prompted to install some plugins and it will ask where your Assetto Corsa install is. Now, if you're unfamiliar where your Assetto Corsa is installed, quite simply open Steam, head over to Assetto Corsa, manage, browse local files, and it should open a link. And here you can see the path the game's installed. So you're gonna to need to provide that and install the plugins it asks. Once you've got past those steps, you're gonna be presented with this. So what is Content Manager? Content Manager replaces the UI of Assetto Corsa. So you won't be running the Assetto Corsa game from here. You would just run Content Manager, gives you access to all the cars, all the tracks in a much better laid out manner. Ability to install mods nice and easy to keep your mods up to date. It's quite something. I've been using this for absolute years, so it's not just something I've used because of LFM. Okay, next up was the custom shader patch. Once you got that downloaded, let me show you how easy it is to install. Drag it into Content Manager. You'll see a little progress up the top here. If we click that, you'd hit uninstall. As you can see, I currently have it installed, but you just hit install, does it all for you. Nice and easy. It goes the same for the Real Penalty app. Drag it in. You can drag in more than one. I'm just showing you how easy this. Once again, I've already got that installed, but you would just hit install and that's done. And if we head back to low fuel motorsports, we can see all we needed was the content manager, the real penalty and soul. Soul being the last one here. 
drag that into the content manager. Should see a progress. And again, you're just going to hit install. I already have this installed, so I'm not need, not need to worry. Okay, now to activate the apps we have installed. First of all, to make sure our mods are installed correctly, head to settings, a set of Corsa, Python apps, make sure Python apps is enabled. And we're going to want to make sure soul is ticked, real penalty is ticked, and anything else we just installed. But obviously, I, any app that you want it have installed here, make sure it's ticked and it'll be activated within the set of Corsa. Go ahead and go to settings, custom shader patch, weather FX, enable soul as the weather style and activate it. Uh, while you're here, a little change I like to make, just as a quick side note, is in GUI, the new pause menu looks great. I think it's really worth it. Okay, now the real penalty app, obviously again, like I said, make sure it's enabled here. We'll jump in the car in a moment and show you how to use it. I've set it up at the moment on a single screen, just so I can show you how to set up the overlays. Okay, so if we jump in a car, first of all, we'll head over to Low Fuel Motorsports, pick the F3, and we can see there's a practice server. We'll just join that for the moment. The password's always LFM, and then we just hit join. Now, as I say, I've put this on single screen, just so I can show you how to set up the overlays, but I'll show you how to transition to triples and get that set up. Okay, once we're in the car, if we hover over to the top right, the taskbar will appear. The first thing you want to do to make sure everything's set up okay, make sure the real penalty is activated. Once you've done that, click on real penalty settings. Once you've got this window open, you'll see all of the real penalty windows appear, so that makes it very easy to move. Now to move, you just click and hold. Now a top tip, press and hold control and you can overlap these settings. I find a set course is very finicky with laying things out. If you try and move the window, it's near another window, even with some transparency, it's going to be a problem. So if you hold control, it lets you move it anywhere you want. So I've got my safety cars, speed in, flags here. I've got my cut warnings and my warning text above there. I've got my DRS light. And then a lot of these I've just overlapped on top of each other. And I don't have any problems. The helicopter thing just in the middle. And then if we close that, all the overlays disappear. So that worked just fine. You need this, you need, oh, that's the new pause menu, by the way. It's pretty cool. Um, we need to make sure we have the real penalty system activated. For one, it has to be activated. Otherwise, any online servers you join on LFM, you'll be kicked otherwise it, without it. And the other reason it's going to let you see yellow flags, it's going to let you see if you've been given a cut warning or if you need to serve a drive through penalty, anything that the system from the server end has deemed that you need to serve. So it's definitely something you need to make sure. Okay, so we got that working. Let me show you setting up the triples because as you can see, my right hand screen is just showing my desktop. It's pretty simple. Actually, I'd say it's the simplest of all the Sims. Settings, a set of Corsa, video. First of all, we're going to change to triple screens, and then we're going to put our custom resolution in. So I've got 5760 by 1080. And I think that's everything apart from one last thing. So I'll jump back in that practice server. Password still pre filled. We hit join. Don't hit drive. That runs it locally. That's what I was doing at first. So you're not alone if you accidentally click this button. Make sure you hit join. Okay, we see some text on my right monitor. It's the full server name. Now, it'll probably just work out the box for me, but that's because I've already done a setting. Yes, that's worked perfectly. But there is something I want to show you on the far right. I'll bring this across so you can see it. In the right hand task manager that we opened earlier, there's an app called Triple Screen. We need to open that and you'll be presented with this pop up window. We need to put the width of your screens in, the bezel the distance between my eye and the screen and the angles of the screen. So this is the angle my screens are at. This is the distance from eye to the screen. This is the width of a screen and this is the bezel. Once you've got all this set up, your, um, let me close that. Your triple screens will be fully set up. So yeah, that all works. Now a few things to show you regarding LFM. So we saw, I showed you how to join a practice server. But to join a race, it's pretty simple. Let's go to one that's active. Okay, LMP3 Road America. We can see there is a race at three o'clock, which is for me is in about 45 minutes. So you hit sign up. 
you agree you agree you agree obviously make sure you read these i've already read them if it had more than one car you'd pick the car here then you hit sign me up you can see here currently we're in split one depending on how many people join i'm going to leave that because i won't be there for the race and that's exactly how you register now you would be presented this would change to a join server button when the server is available to be raced so it would change from from the sign up to join and then you click that and you'll be presented with the same window this gives you and you just put the password lfm and you join and that will be the race server now you'll be taken straight into qualifying it's still in alpha there was like a three minute practice qualifying and then the race due to the how a set course of works and the how people were allowed to finish their lap there was some lag for switching over servers so right now they've just extended qualifying three minutes so just be ready when the server's ready hit join server it will change moments before the server goes live so it's okay you've got a three o'clock window here here's the people registered we were registered and you hit join this will take you into the server and you'll be presented with the same window that this is now if you have any problems joining the server it's probably because you haven't got one of the mods, cars, or tracks. So let's show you that. Here we need the LMP3 and the and the um, Road America track. So we download those. I'll go through the procedure so you can see. So everything's a little different. So for this one, we hit the download button. It's taking its time. We'll get the other one going. Road America. Download. That's downloading. I'll get Road America installed. So you can see, head over to the downloads, open the content manager, Road America, you drag it in, progress will happen. I already have it installed, but once this is done, you just hit install and you're done. It's that simple. Whether it's a mod, a car, a track, you just hit install. I've already got it installed, so I won't be needing to do that. And that's it. So if we head over to the Cupra, we can just download the car. Hit the download button, presented in the downloads, open content manager, drag it in, and you'll be presented with the install button. And this is it. You just install your cars and tracks that way. One top tip is content manager will try and keep them up to date for you. As you can see here, there's an update to Le Mans. I wouldn't, because we're racing with LFM, an online platform that mandates what mod versions, what tracks, what track versions, what cars. I wouldn't go updating your mods. You might find that you aren't able to join the server because then the server may not be using that version of Le Mans. So just, yeah, be careful with that. Um, I haven't had too much of a problem, but you can imagine it, it can definitely cause problems. Now, it's not saying that in future weeks they wouldn't use the updated version, but if the version updates midweek, then unless LFM tell you to use that version, I would use the versions they provide here. Now I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. I'll show you a few things of the overlays I've set up, just in a basic way. Let's join in the Cupra. Now I will do, if you're interested, future a, a set of course of videos, helping you get set up or anything, but I just wanted to do a quick overview video of myself um, using LFM, because I've been really enjoying myself here. Okay, so if we... Head over some overlays on my left monitor here. So I've got a real-time one. I've got my garage one. Let's just put that there. That's just while you're in the garage. And I use something called substanding. So obviously it's on my far right monitor, but it looks like this. So you get a, a standings. Now you can use this one, the built-in one, or if you like something a bit more traditional, again, on the far task manager, obviously I'm in triples now, so I can't show you. There's substanding relative. And there you go. I'll show you the link in one second to this. So if we just watch someone else driving, we've got the choice between these two. There you go. Let me show you what substanding and where it is. Here we go. And again, you just download and install the same way. This is what I've been using recently. It's free, it's easy to use. So we just download. Once the download's done, we open up Content Manager. Let's close the practice session we had. We drag in substanding, it'll prompt for install, and it will appear 
in your right task manager. Yeah, any questions down in the comments, I'm happy to answer them. I think I covered all the basics. You've seen how to install cars and tracks, how to get content manager, custom shader patch, and the real penalty system, because that's really all you need, and how to navigate content manager. Obviously, I explained briefly, you can race AIs and how to hook up Sol if you want to, but really in this video, I just wanted to cover getting up and running with LFM, low fuel motorsports. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs if you enjoyed the video, subs if you want to see the next one, bell notification to know when the next video drops. But other than that, thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.